So we've been playing with this today. Um, I did want to make a few mentions. This pen that comes with it, the marker, this is a wet erase. Um, so that means that when your kid is drawing, they're not going to give it a few seconds and they won't be able to erase accidentally just by rubbing their hand against it. Um, so you say, uh, let's say, okay, so that's a little too soon. Sorry, smudging up though. Uh, now let me get a dry erase marker. Now if I use a dry erase marker, had enough time to set so you can run your hand over it and not have a problem. Whereas the dry erase marker, no matter how long I leave it there, well maybe five days later it might start to cake up a bit and stay, but dry erase will get rubbed right away. So that's the difference there. So that means when you have this you're going to want a wet napkin or something to wipe it off with. After a while, you might get some staining. I have found just a slight little bit of bleach in with my water. It takes care of that beautifully. I did want to show that aside from the states and then on the other side you have the capitals. The multiplication, there are only two pages, well four, yeah, two pages of multiplication, two of division. Let me move my markers. Okay, so now we're able to fit all this in here because of the fact that we're not doing the duplicates. I mean, obviously, one times two and two times one are gonna be the exact same thing. So we're just bypassing all of that. So that is saving a lot of space here on the multiplication and then the division. Same principle applies. All the duplications are out so that you're not having all that extra repetition. Now this is great because of course it goes anywhere with you so especially for homeschooling or even for public school, if you need a little extra practice, this goes into the store with you. It goes into uh, fast food joints, it goes into the car rides, onto grandma's house. Anytime you've got downtime, this is very portable. I did notice though the cardboard, it's very thick, so that's good, it's not just gonna crumple under a kid. But when you drop it, of course, um, my son's already dropped it several times because we try to carry way too many things. In our hands and so this can happen it's survivable though it's still going to be well used <laughs> Banjo on my knee. Awesome. And, yep, where your sister had her first face. It's a killer stop. <laughs> This helps you decide if this is going to help your child get more familiar with uh, the states and the multiplication.